I'm gonna go for it anyways. Oh, these are gonna be so big. That's okay. Uh, you can just them real fast. Fuck me, they're huge. <laughs> okay. Clint has doubled in height. Yeah. I have not doubled in height. Oh wait, that's actually like Is that on for size? That is on for size. No shot that just happened. Uh yeah, I'm aligned to grid space. Wow, almost all of these just align I I'm so good. It's a blessed. Look at me go. Hey, look at you. Look at us. Actually, am I grid size? I think I'm slightly smaller. Thank you. I see nothing. Oh, that's uh, right. We need to set up your toga. And by we, I mean me, because I'm solely responsible for it. Because <laughs> no one else can access those options. I can see. Oh, I can fight. I am concerned that they're just going to jump us as soon as we <laughs> enter in. Okay, so as you go through the more... Um, desecrated is not the word. Worn down area Abandoned. of these. Yeah, that, that works. Um, oh, thanks, love. Do you want to drink? Um, sure. Red Strawberry red. lemonade. Uh, no, no, because I'm gonna try to go to the gym after. You are. Yeah. Red yeah. Ooh. Stay on my schedule, man. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I mean, I actually slept till like one today because we went like, <laughs> four nights last night. You gotta catch up on that sleep, dead. It sucked. Would not recommend. I'll take your word for it. Um. So as you enter, Zane, this is nothing like the places you were, as this is much more um, well made. Ooh, fancy sections. Regardless, as the group of you enter, you do hear Goddard come up to you and say, I should take a small contingent. Head into the gravel we can go in the shadows. Ambush or let you know if you're about to be ambushed. Sounds like a plan. Take your pick on who's accompanying you. He points to um, Thatcher and Victor. They can use the shadow art. We'll stick together. Call if you need. And then they disappear into the wall. As you see Thatcher and Victor follow, you just hear, fantastic. And now we're back in the dirt. <laughs> Make no comment on that. And we're back. Uh, as we're walking around in here, I am going to keep Detect Magic up, just in case there's some magical trap or alarm around. Smart. Well, that does bring to attention one thing, cat. Why well, you always got to put such stank on it? Just saying how it is, cat. <laughs> you know, you just call me Clint, right? As you say, cat, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? What's up, into attention though? A lot of clunkers around here. Yeah. Nothing against your boys, but if you think we're gonna get ambushed, 
Well, you might as well bring a parade down this way. We're gonna negotiate. But they start tossing hostages at us. All the better. Uh, just to be sure, I'm gonna, uh, Lucian taps the side of his helmet and his lights turn, uh, his eyes turn like a bit green on, the, on this helm and then he casts see invisibility. Ah, uh, smart. I said I would expect traps, locks, all the accoutrement that comes with these sorts of types. Uh, did it get the vulge that Zane got affected by the the pepper attack, so to speak. Ah, uh, that's up to you, Zane. Is that something you would have told? Uh, yeah, just, just, just in case. Uh, I can't help against anything in your eyes, but I hand him over my rebreather. This should help against pepper and all other gas attacks. It works in water. You oh. always wonder why well, it's so you. easy for Watch to do our job. It's unfair advantage. Let's keep it even. I'll expect that back, though. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two ladies can do your nails later. Are we moving or what? Sounds like you just volunteered to be lead scout. Shit. <laughs> Smart ass. Fine. Right. Here. Here. Send bird <laughs> first. Wait. What is this thing? It's technically a bird, but it's not alive. But it can see just fine. Beat it. And then, yeah, Quint will just keep sending the bird ahead to, to, to be any, like, a very clear, invisible target. Nice stealth. Hope, hope that's Quentin's. As you see him, like, tactically move against the wall, pull his blade, send it slightly over so he can look at the reflection before moving up this way. Is this a gap in the wall, or what, what is this? Is the doorway? Uh, it looks like where, um, so the bottom here uh -huh. is made of like some sort of almost like gaseous crystal. Ooh. Interesting. And these are like connection ports to it. Huh. Um, uh, roll an investigation if you're interested. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yes, yeah, it's not my best or worst work. Uh, guidance for both of you. Wait, that's actually really good from Zane. Pew! Pew! Well, I tried. You're good. Wait, that means Zane actually rolled the best. Yeah! <laughs> Guidance. He's, he's he's a rich boy. <laughs> he, this is his favorite terrain, right? Yeah, actually. So I think that's noble kind of like houses. A route. <laughs> um, Zane. So older houses, especially in Megval, this is pretty popular. Um, will use like underground uh, gas systems, and what the crystal and um, like semi-permeable areas is supposed to do is act like a natural filtration where it pulls the carbon dioxide out and pumps O2 in to keep it to where people can rebreathe static air. What type of ventilation system? Uh, yeah, Lucian, and you, you sorted that out. Um... What else would there be to add that Lucian specifically would know? Oh. It is not necessarily capable of filtering out very, very dense 
like molecules. So, if you really wanted to, you could like make a really strong, potent poison. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. <laughs> or even applies like a um, a liquid over the areas, and it would essentially drown them out so they wouldn't be able to function. Or you could uh, poison them. Mm. So not a perfect system, but it's not meant to be one that you have to protect. Mm -hmm. As anyone doing it, if they were living underground, would kill themselves to do it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but we're not entirely safe. Ah. Is we're not entirely safe. I mean, yes, filtration, yes, but does not filter out any toxins of any sort, so, you know, just keep your head out for that. Sounds like Wait. a proper dirty trick that they pull on us. So mm -hmm. you mean they poison the whole area? Good. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Imagine going to such lengths. Let's not give them a reason. You know, it does um, kind of create somewhat of an armistice for anyone down here. We'll keep that in mind. How much toxin would we need to shut this place down? Mm. How much? How much do you think? Uh, roll. Do you have alchemist or poisoners? I have alchemist, not poisoners. Okay, roll alchemist. Okay. 36? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you, you think you could figure out a concentration. So it's less the amount and more the concentration. Got it. Because in low mounts, it would be able to be filtered. Mm hmm. But if you pumped like high quantities of like a carbon monoxide in here, mm -hmm. it would choke the whole area out. You gave me enough concentrate, I could do it. And the good thing is, um, if you put it in multiple locations, it wouldn't be able to be diffused fast enough that you could even use smaller concentrations. Mm hmm. Well, if only Echo was here. Yeah, we invited her. Yeah, she would have had a fucking field day. not a bad idea to give ourselves uh, mutually assured destruction. Hey, let's focus on finding what? our allies. Right, right, right. Sorry. Just got excited. My bad. Um, hmm. Anything around Clint that you that we should be aware of? Or are we good? Like magically. Uh, I assume I don't see any magical signatures up or down this hallway. Uh, the, these are, yeah. The candles here are like ever-burning flames. So they don't give off any heat, but they also don't need any source to stay alight. Gotcha. Only thing I'm picking up are these ever-burning flames. No heat, no light, no combustion. Got it. All right, well, give me one second. Specifically light, I guess. Mm. Uh, he, uh, Lucian kind of like springs out a copper wire from his wrist and he points it towards the direction that uh, went in. Went. Sit up, over. You good over there? Yes, it's clear down here for all I can see and quiet too. Some cave-ins up ahead, but looks like there was more here that, you know, like, I, don't, I don't know, like it, it broke. What do you want from me? Uh, it gives the all clear enough. I mean, he says he sees a couple cave-ins, but that's really it. Makes sense given the place's age. Alright, let's catch up. Yeah, so, okay. Hey, there is a door up here, though. Uh, he says there's a door up there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of doors around here, I think. Don't go in yet. We're going to catch up to you first. Uh, this isn't a path that Victor or any of the scouting team took, correct? 
This way? Or just this whole area? Just this region. Uh, this would be about as deep as they ever saw. Gotcha. Are there any markings on the walls or anything like that? Uh, I don't know like what sort of section of a noble house this is in, so maybe they have, <laughs> where does it say, directional signage? Yeah, I guess knowing what you know, seeing that these are like honeycomb-shaped lanterns probably makes a lot of sense. Mm. <laughs> the amazing house of the horn. As you make your way along, uh, roll me a perception, Clint. Er. Well, <laughs> I can't reroll it. <laughs> I'm stuck of it. That's tough. That is I mean, quite unfortunate. You do have detect magic going up. Um. The magical signatures of these lanterns don't all look the same. Ah! Interesting. Uh, I'll start telepathically pinging everyone behind that information. That it's these... Is this entire hallway or just like these three specific? Uh, specifically this one and this one. This one and that one. Those two. Gotcha. Yeah, he'll point out to everyone, and then creep up to Quentin. You give him a tap on the shoulder and whisper to him. There's something magically off with those two lanterns. Either an alarm or a trap is what I'd reckon. Oh, alright. Um, you want me to go see if I can, like, disarm it or something? Can you disarm magic traps? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> And looking at this way, it's just the cabin, right? Correct. Um, can I tell what school magic there? Uh, yeah. Um, roll an investigation check or Arcana. I like Arcana. We so rarely use it. Pew. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, they. This one is a divination, and this one is an evocation. So, <laughs> trigger shotgun on the ceiling. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Go resolution. The closer one is a divination spell. The further one is evocation. I'm thinking the tripwire and then the trap itself. What do you think? Eh, probably. But we have no way to disarm it, except for the spell magic. <clears throat> you want. Well, we don't have another way around here. What about the southern route? No one took it yet. Kaka! <laughs> I see the bird flying over there. Kaka! Thank you for giving me a vision, by the way. Kaka! Uh, roll of perception. Okay. Uh, for sure. Dude, it is not my day for these. Not it bad. is not my day. The bird sees nothing. All is well with the bird. It's not, it's not even alive. <laughs> I mean, daredevil. Oh wait, that means I get like a ten damage mitigation, right? Because I can really clench my muscles and. True. Yeah, it's in the bird. Uh, down to this corner. Okay. Easily enough. It perishes. You, it, you see there's another door here and then a path that heads this way. Yo. I hate backtracking like this. Let's try the summon route. I don't see a trap on it. Yeah, we, we can't pull off this T intersection either. Hey, you know there was this this one guy. Um, his name was Timothy. Uh huh. <laughs> Sick bastard used to like get turtles, grease them up, and then like what? slide them down the hallway to trigger traps. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't know this. A good friend named Boom. Oh, I knew I knew a guy that knew a guy. Ah, so so he's my brother's mother's cousin or something. Yep. <sighs> I really don't want to trigger a bunch of traps though. Although they probably already heard us. Quink realized something. Looks over at Yidri. Uh, no roll needed. You see him kind of like on one knee. One knee? Like crouching down to... Uh, like holding something? himself up with the other hand on one knee. Ooh. What? So like, like hopscotch? Uh, like winded, tired. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. Give me a sec. Let's start going over. We're getting too deep for you. I don't think I can go much further. Is there down here? It would be hard to explain. I have to talk to me over some drinks or something at some point. There's no... You have nothing to prove down here. See if you can meet up with the other team. Uh, Quinn doesn't go to ping Rohan. Yeah. Injuries losing steam down here. Don't know why. He's not bothering to explain. Valuable asset, my route to you. Where are you guys at? Uh, meaning <clears throat> you might send Yindri to. Yeah, I, assuming Yindri has some abilities to move quickly, which at this like I, Yindri is a man of mystery. I don't know what he can and can't do. <laughs> Rohan resp responds. You <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Damn, he, he translates in water too. <laughs> this will probably be around the whirlpool area. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> worst possible title to call you. How, how, how does Rohan respond to that? Then? <laughs> while, while, while he's standing at the bottom of like a fucking rusty spike pit, <laughs> just, just uh, not frantic, but but definitely quick. Like, uh, oh, don't tell him to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> and uh, probably, probably uh, a few minutes from then. Uh, yeah, it'd have to be a few minutes because we didn't drown. Uh, uh, you would get a, a rundown of uh, the, the the circuit they made through that uh, that tunnel system. Well, wait. I can't say they're not thorough. All right, I'm gonna reroute Yindri over to you guys. Maybe give you some sort of support, assuming he's unaffected over there. Understood. We'll be ready for him. Make sure he's in the scene. This cause it already injury. I don't know how far, how deep they are compared to us, or if whatever's affecting you is affecting them, but... From what I just heard, they're in a... Bit of a freaking toilet, so at least you get a couple of chuckles out of it. Okay. I'll yeah. try to meet up that way. Did you help making it back to the surface? He sort of gets up and moves along before falling to his side, and you just see, like, him swirl down into, like, the crack before just disappearing and leaving a small shed of red cloth. What the fuck? I will take... I would take... I would take Yindri's red cloth... <laughs> Add that to my inventory. <laughs> How the f- Alright, something for later. Are we sure he's not a dark one? There are a lot of questions of him, alright? But just know he's on our side. Is he? He is. Trust me, if he wasn't on our side, he would have made our lives a lot nastier up until now. You just as Briggy. See, Naya nah, just slap him on the back of the head. Don't be worrying about it, little brother. We got a mission to handle. Worry about that later. Yeah, you can grow him or go ask Red Fox or any of them what his deal is. But be nice to him, right? 
He's just, uh... He's like the rest of us. Touch the head. Well, I tell you, Captain Clint, this one's a lot louder than... A lot what? louder than any other, uh... Operation I've been on. Can I inside check what is up with the stake on Captain? Like, what, what, what is up with this? Yeah, we're holding up. Okay, now I get the good ones I need. The, the you duality. are like the See, duality of man. Like, is is that what it is? Am I, am I being belittled right now? Am I being? Uh, is he joking, teasing me, or, or is he taunting me? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, yeah. I mean, you rolled as good as you could possibly roll. It's definitely more of a he finds this amusing. Um, and if things okay. go bad, it's not like he's gonna lose out because he can just peace out. Yeah, that's fair. So, with all chips on the table, he finds it funny that this is kind of where the watch is at. Hmm, fair. Yeah, I don't deny that. But the fact that they haven't jumped us yet means that they're either plotting something or they're waiting on us. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a good insight. <laughs> and hey, if things go bad and when you make a dash out of here, make it sound heroic at least. Oh, hell, you know me so well. Know you, man. That's looking out for himself. I can't fault you for that. Hey, someone's got to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. I thought you was talking about we talk too much. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> Can't deny that. Well, turn my own gun against me. I'll be. Uh, who was the guy he shot? The the thorn in, in his side? What was his name again? Uh, Joe Son, but he called him Joe. Yeah. As long as we don't turn into Joe. Oh, hell, that one was a long time coming. <laughs> Thank you, we're not. Be keen as well, you think that. I'll have to take my word on it, Captain. There's certain things you do and don't do. You can accomplish the mission without causing harm, undo. No one likes a tyrant. On that, we agree. Do that tap on Zoe's shoulder. Funny wires. Not here. Uh, he look, look at the lantern. Is, is there anything off of these lanterns? No, normal. Okay, thank God. This one, however. Ah, shit. <laughs> divination or evocation? Or neither? Same divination. God damn it. Uh, another magic trap. Point it out. Notify everyone. But I will go over to this door. Assuming that there's like a fucking arcane sigil on the outside of it ready to go off. Does it have a keyhole? Like something to peer through? Uh, yeah, it would. Let's give a look into it. Yeah, I think you could probably see through it a little bit, actually. Yeah, how you? I can see through like little cracks on the side. Correct. For yeah. this one, all of them. Okay, so I was intentional. Gotcha, gotcha. I figured it was. Yeah, gaps under the door, holes. Gotcha. I'm just gonna do a little see. What is that? Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of smaller rooms in there. It's like a toilet. <laughs> uh, if that's what you see. Oh, here? Yeah, yeah I'm trying to like. Yeah, yeah the, it looks the, like the, small the little one. cells. Is it locked? Oh, I opened it by clicking on it. It's, so I guess it ain't locked. <laughs> you can do it. Did you open the door? It sling swings open uh, quietly, a little uh, creakily. Uh, you see what looks to be some kind of um... jail cells. Yeah, like on-the-fly penitentiary area, if you will. Hmm. 
Hmm. Gotta look. Looks like a makeshift jail in there. Is that no mods normally keep jails like this? Or is it something I've set up? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, is it normal for noble houses to have some sort of uh, holding facility? I mean, everyone has yeah their own justice to deal out. Oh, and everyone's got a little something. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need it. Ducks and nobility. <clears throat> I was just about to fucking say. What? Uh, just do a quick check on these, yeah. See if they're trapped or not. Uh, assuming none of them are trapped to cursory uh, investigation. Just gonna start um, opening hey, them up. Captain. What's up? These beds, there's no, uh, no dust on them. Fred, they lived in. Or scrubbed. Hey, something new. Consider. How thick is this? <laughs> How thick are the walls? Um, hard to say. Don't look particularly though. Uh, uh, actually, no. You. This is definitely like a masons with advantage or an investigation tool. I don't have masons. Wait, how far? <laughs> Wait, hold on, actually, can I? You know who does? Oh, hey, yeah, it's not you have masons. Oh, no, not me. I oh. Have the heat. Does masons? Do you? Uh, I have smithing tools. Oh, oh, I have smithing. I have smithing. Uh, someone did have mason tools. Yeah. That's it's fine, though. Uh, I can. Oh, fuck, I forgot that's a whole wall of text. Is I that can... who it was? I can yeah. steal. A tool proficiency when I activate the focus on this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna activate a second life that I did did and didn't live. Okay, roll me an int check with advantage then, or like if if you had it proficient. God damn! So what would not. You? Oh yeah, right, right. Better. Okay. Yeah, okay. just based off like here. Like judging the area and then where this wall starts and where this one um, is, you know, it could be no thicker than this. Right. This portion right. here. But then judging like, like the width of the cells, you imagine it's like a foot at most thick of uh, some sort of concrete stone. All right. Got, got three paths, two avenues. Either we break through the wall to get into, into the hallway, or we start triggering traps. Either way, it's gonna be loud. Hmm. Unless anyone has a spell that can turn stone into water or something. <clears throat> Hold on, let me see. Wait, uh, do you really? Captain, if worse comes to worse, I do have a spell that can turn stone into Trouble. How often do you use that? Well, I got about 200 bolts on me. <laughs> Stare at him! You can cast it 200 times then? Or are you just saying you're just going to shoot the wall? I'm <laughs> saying I'm going to shoot the wall. Hold on to that. I might use that in a sec. Yeah. <sighs> So I asked predominantly to the fellow players. <laughs> trap, trap, or break through wall. Break the wall. Um, Zane will speak up. Uh, Captain, would you rather go the northern or the southern route? I'm willing to uh, part with one of my spells. What sort of spell you got? Uh, I got dispel. Little dispel magic. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to use. it. 
We also have the door in the middle, I realize. <laughs> If you want. Mm -hmm. I swear I want to break the wall, not gonna lie. So, <laughs> oh, break the wall, break the wall. Say the spell. Breaking the wall is always a good option. Say the spell. Might need on a way out. And the best part is about breaking walls. Once we do it once, they'll start questioning if we'll just keep doing it. And every bit of security they got is going to be Sunday. Well, in theory, in their heads. Look at Grimwood. I'm assuming you're not busting out normal bolts to break down the wall. No, I'm going to modify them with alchemy. Then by all means, take a step aside. Let's see that scorpion. I mean, Captain, it's the least I can do. Four. Well, we owe our lives to you. If it wasn't for you sending Victor and Thatcher over to us, things were not looking good. How bad was it? We had the numbers, but they were much stronger. <laughs> Yeah, well, Malachi upheld his end of the th the bargain, then you guys wouldn't have been in such bad ways, but it's all said and done now. Part, part of the job, Grimold. I'm happy you guys all made out of life. I now. see enchants and it creates infusions along his crossbow. Well, personally, I would take two assassins over one mage. <laughs> As much of an ass as Malachi is, he is a very special type of mage. But again, it's all said and done now. now let's go try to save some more of our people. Huh? As you see him kneel down, and the bolt starts glowing with a green aura, as well as a red one interlaced along it, and it almost like swells and expands. Um like a sponge being put to water before he fires the bolt. Well, lean down and try to see their results like, huh? Huh? Does he melt the wall? Uh, that's what it looks like. As he shoots into it, fire and acid both dry and start to dig away at it, eating a hole. Like watching flame get put up to styrofoam. Uh, that's very good imagery. How loud is it? Not particularly loud. As you hey. hear it hit on it and like a miter. As you start to see um, light come through the side. And then make it all the way through, but... It shouldn't be much harder from here. He looks over at Zane. I could do it a little bit more quiet, but it would take some resources. Yeah, your call, Zane. You want yeah, to what exactly do you need from me? I mean, you could stick a crowbar in there and hit the other side. You know, like a seesaw. Uh, we can't exactly get to the other side, so... Oh, so I turn around and note that Cole isn't here. <laughs> Correct. Already look looked. At, look, look at Quentin. I've actually been wanting to try something out, unless you think you got it, Zane. Oh, well, by all means. She's Whisper gonna go to back Quentin. out. Quentin. You Whisper. would see her hold her sword aloft as it um razors out and wraps around her gauntlet before she holds her two fingers almost like into a snap and flicks them out mm -hmm. Eldritch Blast what the heck is she a warlock oh and she did get Faraday's soul you Jesus. see them fly out 
a long a dart. It hits, erupting the last two pieces, sending small shatters everywhere. Looks good to me, Captain. Take through it. Nice work. New trick, huh? Something I picked up along the way. Uh, roll an insight, y'all two who are here. Actually, all three of y'all are here. What is that? An eight? No, I'll use a divine inspiration. Reveal to me your secrets. Okay. Um, Zoe. As she blows through the wall and starts to walk forward, seemingly very pleased with her. Um, man, all of y'all rolled. You both rolled so good. Um, there is a very concerned body language that Grimwald is giving off as he watches her approach it. Mm. Telepathically you... ring, ring him. Go ahead. Everything all right? You tell me, Captain. Seems like every day she gets a little bit more cold and unattached. She does have a streak of that. But I assume you as her brother know better. Eh, where did this all start? When? That story is too long for the context of this operation, but... We'll talk after this, then. Right. Let's just say for now it started with a watch. Noted. Follow behind her. Actually, no, go back to Quentin. <laughs> Where did Cole go? I saw him go in the room with you. It's <laughs> actually Quinn's like, wait, what? What? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Uh, that's, that's what I saw as well, sir. Yeah, but he didn't be heading in the room. Thought y'all was sorting it out. <laughs> Quinn's like, just passively, just begins, like, walking down, like, is he just chilling one of the rooms here? Realizes there's nothing? Sneaky trick. Ah. <sighs> Nothing to be done about now. If someone casts invisibility, detect magic doesn't ping them as it being doesn't. A, yeah. Not like oblivion rolls. <laughs> right. Hmm, what is this pink cloud? <laughs> <laughs> detect life, detect life. Oh yeah, Lucian doesn't see invisibility. Yep. You go over to him. Don't suppose you saw an invisible coal waltzing around the place. Mm. If so, yeah. I have, yeah, I've been the okay. Leave it to the White Watch to disappear. There. Uh. Uh, if he backstabs us, then, uh, well, got some unfortunate news to tell Maven. All right, let's keep it going. Do a tap tap on his little shoulder, like, you know, right behind you, sort of style. Looks clear to me. <clears throat> she says, having apparently swallowed a piece of peanut butter that's stuck in yeah. my throat. Piece of peanut butter? <laughs> I was just stuck in your throat if she's Yeah. I had to reseed. Ooh, nice. Don't you worry about what me and Zoe do. <laughs> what? They they hang out at night and share Reese's peanut butter cups. Also, how the hell did bed? It is up. <laughs> and then they gossip about which characters are going to die next. Also, what are you saying, Crash? How, how the fuck did Cole get out of here? I I I. This is Cole. I see him. 
Yeah, he just seems to be leaning up against the wall. Uh, I will telepathically ping him. Hmm. Fancy trick. Just waiting on you to figure it out, Cap. Let me guess. You can do something like Oreo does. No. What can he do? <laughs> you have to ask him. He's a fellow White Watch member. Is that right? He ain't had the pleasure. So how'd you do it? Ain't hard to walk through shadows, Cap. For you, maybe. You have to teach me a trick sometime. Hmm. You see, with the way your brain is set up, I don't know if that's the best fit for you. You see him take his hands out of his belt and sort of kick himself off the wall. As he says aloud, Well, y'all want to keep doing this the hard way or you want the easy way? Smart ass. Take us by the hand and give us the easy way, Cole. Show us how White Watch do their work. Alright, can do. Get through this wall. He took indicates the one behind him. Mm hmm. Look Unless you want me to do that for you. I can. Well, would it be loud? No. Would it take a lot of your efforts? Nope. Then please, Cole. Hey, happy to be of assistance, Cap. <laughs> As you see, he just takes a small little, like, curved karambit style knife and Ooh. starts clawing into the um oh god no what's it called it's not molding it's oh like the gap between stones like, like yeah where... mortar is molding? it is mortar yeah well it's called Dude, mortar when mortar. you're applying it i think it is just called molding is it yeah we, we all know what you're talking about though 